Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we are on the Exile Lands in Map Square D11, deep in the tundra, building a cabin using the Northern Timber mod. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. Northern Timber includes a few different building sets, but in this build we'll be using mostly the Northern Timber set, the namesake of the mod. This material set is made from horizontal logs, and makes for a nice log cabin material way better than the base game wooden offerings. This set is uniform on either side, so you don't really have to worry about the orientation, and it also includes shallow sloping pieces and roofs, so you can round out roof gables and roof pieces. I'm a big fan of Valheim's building system, it seems that most people are, and this mod actually has some elements of that, which helps to really make for a great modular building set. I built a really simple base plate using the Northern Timber Foundations and used Stockade Foundations to create exterior verandas on the front and back. Next for the walls. I placed the walls down onto the foundations to plan out the ground floor room by room. I'm going for a fairly open initial feeling with some rooms that are a bit more closed off on the sides of the main hall. I want to keep everything feeling roomy, but also create a pretty intense atmosphere inside, so this semi-open structure is the best way to achieve that. I built the walls two tiles high, including a front door and two back doors on either side of the rear hall. I then built the stairs up in the rear hall. I realised I needed a little bit more room so I pulled the rear wall of the left side room in by one tile to be able to create the staircase I had in mind. Next for the first floor. I used the northern timber ceilings to create the floor of this level, covering the top of most of the central walls with ceilings, but leaving an open 2x3 section above the entrance hall. I then built the walls at one tile high all around the build, sectioning off a 1x4 balcony at the front of the first floor, and creating a single room on the back right side of this floor. If you're enjoying this build so far, do feel free to hit that big red button and subscribe. Only 20% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. I post Cone Nexiles videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and quite often they're build guides like this, although there are also DLC videos, mod videos, etc. So if you like the content and you're enjoying what you see, feel free to subscribe. Next for the roof gables, with the regular and shallow sloping side pieces, you can create some really nice roofs with this mud. Therefore, I use the regular and shallow pieces together to create pointed roof gables atop the first floor, then building similar pointed gables on the side rooms and a partial floating gable in the centre of the first floor. Using the regular and shallow northern thatch pieces, I constructed the roofs. I had some stability issues with connecting the two roofs together over the main part of the building, so I had to use ceilings underneath the apex of both roofs to build that connection. For the side roofs, I created really simple roof structures topped off with rooftop pieces. Finally, I used Bosonian tiled awnings on the front and back verandas and the first floor balcony, and place northern timber doors in the door frames.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the cabin on the exterior with hanging wall braziers and inside with aquilonium braziers for a warm, balanced lighting. Tonally, this build is quite mid-tone and dark heavy, there aren't a lot of highlights. However, I think the roof structures created with the regular and shallow roof gable pieces gives the build a lot of character and makes it feel quite different from most other structures. Entering the build, the atmosphere I wanted to capture in this build is perfect. It's a heavy, very tangible atmosphere, without being too overbearing. Northern Timber doesn't actually include too many cabin related placeables, so therefore I chose to include the Savage Steel and Immerse RP mods to get the decoration perfect. The ground floor includes a dining room, kitchen, lounge, some shelving units, and a spacious hall that leads to the staircase. The rear hall has access to both back doors which lead onto the rear veranda. Though the lack of rustic cabin placeables are a bit of a disappointment, I actually really like Northern Timber. It's a really, really good mod that I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't try out before now. I think I'll definitely be using it again soon. And to be honest, you're probably going to see it in another small mods video soon enough as well. Heading upstairs we reach the first floor. Up here the decoration is a lot more minimalist as there is a lot going on structurally with the horizontal logs and the balcony looking down into the entrance hall. On this floor there is a small bedroom for two designed for comfort and convenience. This floor also has access to a small balcony over the front of the cabin which looks over the nearby area. And there we have it, a Tundra cabin in the Exiled Lands, in map square D11. Thanks for watching, Northern Timber is one of those mods I've been asked about a few times, so I decided to finally give it a try today. It's a great mod with tons of different building options, and I think you are definitely going to see some more of this mod soon. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, 
NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 68% off a two-year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to come and join us on Patreon. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialat, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Shannara, Torn, and Eagle Rose. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.